you make a basket? Oh, so close. Make a basket. Good job! Greetings and salutations my friends. Today I am spending the day with Ollie and we've got a lot of fun things planned today and by a lot I mean like two. And uh, we're just gonna hang out and play a little bit here and next we're gonna go over to the park and we're gonna hang out. What are you doing? Come pet the kitty. Come pet the kitty. He takes a swing at her. You missed! Pet the kitty! Oh, she got away! She got away! You're on the cat! I love you, kitty! Sorry for stepping on you! Can you put the shade thing? Good job! Are you having coffee? Mm. 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 Yummy? Yeah. Yeah. Coffee. What's in that coffee cup? Ice cream. Ice cream coffee. Ollie's favorite. Or right next to corn coffee. Where's the corn? There it is! Good job! Orange circle. What's the gorilla do? Yeah! I don't know if he pounds his belly, but he pounds his chest. Good job! Oliver has stumbled into this I'm gonna get hurt every five seconds thing. So Oliver walked into the kitchen and I saw him round the corner of the kitchen island and start to try and climb up there. Now, normally he just gives up and walks away. So, this time he didn't though, and he slipped and hit his nose. So I walk over to him and I pick him up because he's crying and I hate seeing him cry. And all of a sudden I notice that his nose is got this red mark on it and all of a sudden blood starts to come down his nose and from his mouth and my heart just like falls into the pit of my stomach and I noticed that he has like a busted lip busted and it was a bloodbath and I'm freaking out a little bit on the inside um, I'd like to say that I was one of those parents who's like super calm and collected and just got it all together and everything but the but on the outside I may have been a little bit more calm than I think but on the inside it was just like just screaming my my I in my head I was just screaming which brings me to the point of why I'm doing this video today it's really easy when things happen as a parent and your kid gets hurt to think I'm the worst parent in the world what are people gonna think the fact of the matter is <laughs> what are you doing you got a plastic bag. I want to make sure you can breathe. Don't smother yourself, you crazy baby. You're so goofy. So you're not a bad parent if your kid gets hurt on occasion. But if your kid's getting hurt all the time, you may want to kind of start paying more attention to them. So the good news is kids are resilient and typically they bounce back really fast in most situations. If you're a parent that's like freaking out a little bit, and the fact that you care so much and are broken up about the fact that your kid has an injury of some sort, that's actually a pretty good sign that you care about your kid a lot. And that doesn't make you a bad parent, that makes you just like everybody else. Is that ice cream? That's ice cream. Ice cream. Even if you're extremely cautious, that doesn't mean your kid's never going to get hurt. They may get hurt less, but they're still going to happen from time to time. So. What should you do? I would always advise to take as much precaution as necessary. Baby proof your house. Baby proof your house to try and avoid these situations. 
so Ollie has taken his coffee cup that had goldfish in it and decided that he was going to dump them all over the ground. And I'm very grateful for that. And if you find that your child got injured, do your best to stay calm, even if it's just on the outside, because that will help calm you on the inside. I'm a parent that I'd like to say is calm and rational in situations of high pressure. I'm really not. I would be the kind of dad that is like, oh my gosh, my kid just got a paper cut on his finger. I've ruined his future. He's never gonna get into the good college of his dreams because he can't write. He's not gonna be the captain of the football team and the star musician because he can't use that finger anymore. Gretchen's gonna kill me and I'm booking a flight to another country that has no extradition. So take heart, everybody. You're just like everybody else. If you're a parent that freaks out, try your best to stay as calm as you can in the situation and that'll help get you through those moments and then you can freak out later. We are gonna go over to one of our metro parks and just kind of hang out in the sun. It is a beautiful day. Can you go to the park with me? In order to do that, we have to pick up your toys. Blocks. Good job. Oh, sorry. Ollie here, he's in the wind. I don't know if you can hear us right now, but we're at the park. He's a liquor though. Ah, grandma's dog's a liquor, trust me. Yeah, you have to ask. Like, may I put your dog? Yeah, go for it. What are you doing? So big! So we're just getting back home. He seems pretty tired. So I think he's going to end up taking a nap soon. And I think that's just going to about do it for today's video. If you liked today's video, be sure to smash that like button, give us a big thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video. Leaf. Good job. Ah. What? Good. Playground. Yeah, bear. Kite.